starts drawing the entire piece that we made earlier. So that's really... Hello guys and welcome to AI Plus More, where in this video I'll be showing you how you can create a whiteboard animation on Canva. So let's say you're trying to teach kids and you want to make it more interesting rather than just putting up presentations where you can just click on next and then they will just see it and then just watch. It would be a bit boring compared to having something that moves around, like an animation for instance, because kids would lo love that. So how do you actually do it? Just follow through the tutorial and I'll show you how you can do it. But first of all, if you're interested in using Canva Pro for a bit, then you can try out the 30 day free trial by using our link in the description down below. With that out of there, let's get into the video, in the tutorial, I mean. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a design. Before you can start animating something, it will ask you to have a design that you have already created or an image, perhaps. So let's go and create a design. Maybe I can go and use the custom size. I always write like using the 1920 to 1080 pixels width and height because it's like the normal size or at least the highest possible quality that I could get. So since we're using a whiteboard animation, we're trying to make a whiteboard animation, it would be nice to just keep this on white. For this video, I'm just going to be using the white background. So let's add some elements because that is where we can get our sketches from. So I'm just going to search up sketch. And let's say what we're trying to show to the lesson that we're trying to tell is about the environment. So I'm just going to go and create a design here. So right now I'm available or like I'm able to use many of these sketches here because my account is on pro. Okay, let's say it's something like this. And then let's add another page for a second page for the animation. Let's say we, we're gonna create another... In this one, I'm gonna show... First of all, we need to plant more trees or, so, or something like that. You know what? Yeah, that looks cool. All right, yeah, something like that. And then let's just what we just need to do now is just we just need to download these images by going here and share let's go for the png because it's the highest i would not want to leave this as transparent background so let's just leave it at that then let's just make sure to download all pages then click download and let's wait for the downloads to finish and let's just drag this out in the desktop so we can just open it up later so we don't really need to go and create a new environment as long as we have already downloaded the pictures. I'm just gonna go and delete everything here and everything here as well. Just let's just use these. So all we need to do now. So what we just need to do now is head over here to apps and then let's search up a speed painter or any other painting apps that could help us. So apparently right now speed paint doesn't really work properly. So we're gonna be using speed painter for this one. So just click on speed painter app. Then let's just choose a file or the image that we have downloaded. So it's on desktop. So it's just one. Then we have the option whether we want our sketch duration when or how much, how long will it last. Just choose three seconds. Fill with color. You have the option. But in our design that we made earlier, we didn't have any color. But up to you. If you want to add color, then they will add color into it. Then add sketching hand effect. Click on generate. And now all we need to do is wait. All right, now it's done downloading. We just go ahead and click on add to design and it would put it here onto our design. Now let's see what the results are from the Speed Painter app. As you can see, it starts up small and then there it goes. It starts drawing the entire piece that we made earlier. So that's really great. And then for the second page, we just let's just go back and add the other one that we made. Keep the same settings and then let's go and generate. All right, now that this one is done as well, we'll just click on add the design and let's make sure that we enlarge it to its maximum potential. <laughs> 
a weird way to say it, but yeah. Let's just enlarge this one to fit the entire page. And let's see what we get from this. Hey, there we go. That's amazing. Ooh, sheesh. It actually looks good. Alright, now that we're both done, we're, we're done with both, <laughs> both done. We're done with both of these pages. What we just need to do now is download it if you want to download it. Click on share, download, and of course, make sure that it's set to MP4 video or else it wouldn't be moving. <laughs> Alright, let's click download and let's wait for the video for that we have created here, these two videos to download. So apparently it should merge into one video. Hey, there it is. Act looks wonderful. That is how you can make whiteboard animation using Canva. But that's just using one app that I have found. And there are other multiple apps, that you, other various apps that you can use to do whiteboard animation for this. But I'm just trying to show you that you can explore in Canva. And you can use much more in Canva when you're using Canva Premium or Pro. And I'm just going to repeat again. So please check out the, the link in the description to get your free 30 days trial on Canva Premium. And that is how you can create a whiteboard animation on Canva. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Hello guys, once again this is Kim and I would like to thank you all for watching this video but don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free tutorials for your everyday needs and come on, once again, let me tell you, it's free, okay? So if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later on but I would suggest not to do that. Please, 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 please.